In the aftermath of Sam's sudden and heartbreaking death on Halloween, the corridors of General Hospital are heavy with sorrow and disbelief. Just as Dante and Rocco entered the hospital, they heard the devastating words escape Alexis's lips. Her daughter was gone. Shock rippled through Dante, his face paling as he grappled with what he was hearing. Rocco, overcome with confusion and sorrow, looked to his father, hoping against hope that it was all a terrible misunderstanding. Laura and Sonny arrived, each tense with fear that Lulu might have been the one affected. The tension in the air was almost unbearable until Laura took Rocco aside, guiding him to the hospital chapel for some quiet reflection. Dante, heartbroken and unable to hold back his grief, approached Sam's bedside. With tears streaking down his face, he whispered to her, confessing that this wasn't the way things were supposed to unfold. Later, those whispers of grief turned to self-blame, as he replayed every interaction, every missed moment, wondering if somehow he could have prevented this tragedy. Meanwhile, Jason, burdened with the agonising task of telling his children about their mother's passing, turned to Carly for support. The hospital, which had so often been the site of healing and reunions, now felt hollow as Jason faced the unimaginable. In hushed tones, he broke the news to Danny and Scout, his voice steady but breaking with each word. He tried to paint a comforting image, assuring them that their mother was now in heaven, watching over them. Carly, sensing the weight of Jason's sorrow and the need to preserve what little stability remained, chose to tell Drew first, hoping to soften the news before Jason brought the children over. Drew, though devastated, embraced Scout tightly, vowing that he would always be there for her, a source of stability and love in the turbulent sea of loss. Jason, too, offered a comforting presence to Danny, letting him know that despite everything, he would never be alone. At Sam's apartment, Alexis encountered another kind of turmoil as she found Christina and Molly, who had been caught up in one of their usual arguments. Exhausted by both grief and the constant strain of her daughter's bickering, Alexis finally made them sit down to break the tragic news. In that moment, the air grew thick with disbelief, the gravity of Sam's passing sinking into the family's very bones. The sisters fell silent, their previous quarrel instantly forgotten, as they each struggled to process the magnitude of the loss. For Alexis, it was yet another painful reminder of the frailty of life, and she looked at her daughters with both sorrow and resolve, silently pleading with them to set aside their differences and come together in the wake of this tragedy. With Sam's death casting a dark shadow over Port Charles, the emotional ripples are far from over. A video preview hints at deeper layers of grief yet to be explored. In one scene, Drew, clearly shaken, tries to comfort an inconsolable scout, reminding her of all the love that still surrounds her. Elsewhere, Jason finds solace in a quiet moment with Spinelli, reflecting on how it was Sam who had brought them together, forging the deep friendship they now share. Their conversation isn't just one of remembrance, it's an acknowledgement of Sam's role as a force that bound people together, even in her absence. As each character grapples with their memories of Sam, it becomes clear that her legacy will continue to resonate, a testament to the impact she had on everyone who loved her.